Today on Garden Fork, learn how to make eggnog. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. I love eggnog. Okay? He does. He really does. I love the cheater eggnog from the grocery store. And if I buy a quart of it, I'll drink the whole quart. But today, I want to learn, well I'm going to learn, and you're going to watch and learn how to make real eggnog. Which is really brilliantly simple. It's eggs and milk and a little sugar and some spices and boom, you're done. You'd be fat all year round. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad they only sell eggnog at the holidays because I'd be in a lot of trouble. Alright, ready? Ready. Do you like eggnog? Will you be drinking eggnog before we make the eggnog? How does that work? The cheater eggnog is pretty darn good. <laughs> and But, you know, the ingredient list is pretty big. And if I had my glasses on, I'd read it to you. But <laughs> with your simple ingredients. Eggs. These are eggs from Priscilla. We got the farmer's cow milk, which is uh, Connecticut farmers bottling their own milk and selling it at the store. Is that a bottle? Well, it's a container. <laughs> and some vanilla and spices and uh, just a tiny bit of alcohol. Although you usually like yours um, alcohol I like free. mine alcohol free because most of the time you go to a party and they put way too much liquor in the eggnog. You just want a hint of it, you know? Or none at all. It's just a milkshake. You know, it really is. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like almost like an egg cream without the seltzer, you know? But let's, uh, let's make it, okay? Okay. Get the freshest eggs you can, all right? Ah. Uh, the noise you hear in the background, the puppies are playing in the other room. It's <laughs> chaos right now. <laughs> so we're going to try and shoot the show with them out of the way. I bet they like eggnog too. They do. Get some bowls. And we're going to separate these eggs, okay? There's a couple ways to separate eggs and I'm going to show them to you, okay? So take your egg. Don't crack your egg on the side here. Crack it here. Are you going to tell us why? Um, because if you crack it on the edge, you can drive shell debris into your bowl. So just toss your egg yolk back and forth and the egg white drops off into there. Another way you can do this is you don't need to toss them between the shells. You can take it and you can toss it between your hands like this. And that does a really good job. But these are super fresh eggs. These are just from Priscilla. Some sugar. Ideally, this is powdered sugar, but we don't have any. I thought we did. Look, I'm like, I'm like the Food Network here. Uh, this is some cinnamon, and this is some nutmeg. About a half a teaspoon of each one of those. And then these are some cloves. Those go in a little mortar and pestle. Secret potion. Eggnog and the USDA don't really get along real well because this is, you're drinking raw eggs and the USDA has a bunch of red Ooh, flags about that. Yeah. So be very careful about this. Uh, have raw eggs at your own risk. There are eggnog recipes where you cook the eggs. Eggnog, actually, according to Wikipedia, <laughs> is basically from England. And a nog was a wooden mug that you drank out of. And maybe this was like an egg drink you drank out of a nog. And then also, they also think that as it came to America, they called it egg and grog because eggnog has alcohol in it. Uh, and then it became eggnog instead of egg and grog. So I'm going to take two cups of our grape milk here, heavy cream. The whole thing? One cup. This is the milk and cream mixture. Now we have the egg whites here. 
and you want to beat these until they're frothy. And we don't have a mixer, so we have this. I think the battery's dying. Yeah. Okay, let's go to plan B. Okay, plan B. Food processor. Uh -huh. We've had luck with that, really good luck with that lately, so. Frothy? Yeah, that's pretty good. Looks like eggnog. So this is the alcohol-free version. Um, wow, it's much lighter than the commercial stuff. Lighter? Yeah, I think it needs more egg yolks. But we only put four in instead of 12. It's really subtle, it needs more egg yolks, but this is good. Let's, um, I wanna throw a little bit of uh, um, alcohol in here and see what happens. <laughs> Usually people put rum in it or a bourbon, but put it in. this is really inexpensive and pretty darn good. <laughs> so you must be over 21. I am only if you're over 21, of course. It's classy. Is it better? Yeah. This would be good if you make this and then put it in the fridge and let the spices kind of meld. I think you nice. just put it in there for a couple hours to chill anyway. It's a different beast than the commercial product, but it's nice. It's it's not so, you know. How was that face? <laughs> but letting this sit um, and letting just the Tastes meld a little bit, the spices kind of meld. I think it'd be really good. Mm. Mm. Yum, and only one stick from the clove. So, all right, thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, you can subscribe and click click the subscribe button. How much whiskey have you had? A little bit. <laughs> have some more. It's the holidays, you know? It's like, I, if you wear the Santa hat, everyone's nice to you. It's really weird, but you have to be nice back. That's the rule of Santa hat, so. Uh, if you're watching on iTunes, would you leave a review? It's right down there. Leave a review. Uh, if you're on our site, leave us some comments. Tell us what your eggnog story is. Do you have an eggnog recipe? What do you think I uh, could do to make this uh, different or better? I don't know. I mean, I'm not the expert here. So you can sign up for our newsletter. You can send an email to news at gardenfork.tv. You'll get an auto reply. And it's always great to hear from you. So send me an email as well. All right. So make it a great day. We'll see you later. See ya.